and don't invalidate others' feelings. Here's an example. Gabriel, I don't know why you're so, uh, so upset or punchy about that. Or, Jennifer, there's no reason to get so defensive. Or, it'll be okay, Javier. Really, really, it, it'll all work out. To say or imply that people don't have a right to their feelings upsets them, even more at you. And don't engage in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Avoid letting a discussion degenerate into a dialogue with one other person in the meeting. Inevitably, others in the group become onlookers and they begin to take sides. Then the opposing ideas become an ego issue and the discussion has a winner and a loser. Bad for morale. When you realize that only you and one other person is remaining in the discussion, say something like, well, let's open it up here again. Charles, you said blah, 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 and Eugenia, you said, you mentioned that blah, blah, blah. The idea is to leave the impression that everyone is contributing to the exchange, that you're conceding to the group opinion. Drop these don'ts for a dynamic meeting that leads to sound decision-making in record time.